From tasty Greek salads to Michigan brews and mold. This week's restaurant report card had us checking out some of the hot spots in the Gross Points. Our Andrea Isom shows us what she found and she takes a tour of all three towns. Check it out. Around the farms and through the woods to Gross Point Park we go. Yay! As we track down the two eateries with the highest number of priority violations on its last inspection from the health department. First, my footsteps follow the music to Dirty Dog Jazz Cafe, nestled nicely in this cute little spot in Gross Point Farm. Steak, seafood, chops, all that good stuff. We like good food. Excellent. And good jazz. Absolutely. But I think it's safe to say that most people do not like ice machines with mold on them, right? What about the mold? No mold. No black mold? No. Yes, mold, according to the Wayne County inspector who last checked out this jazz joint. It was just time and temp log, that's all it was. Not if you take a peek at this official paperwork. Chicken soup and buffalo sauce in the cooler past the expiration dates. Sour cream left out at room temperature for three hours. In all, the Dirty Dog Jazz Cafe had seven priority violations, but Andre says that's not the case anymore. Any problem has been solved. Next, we made our way to the woods to see what Telly's place is whipping up. Hi, how are you? Hey, Wonderful. I'm looking for a manager or an owner. He wasn't there, but when he found out we stopped by, he invited us back because I want to find out if what went wrong when the health department paid this place a visit has been made right, like improper cooling procedures, the meat slicer and can opener with food stuck on them, seven priority violations. Jimmy here's the owner. He's a nice guy, but he's no nonsense, and he's not about making excuses either. We really use these opportunities to you know, further train of course. our staff yeah. and even ourselves. We've been here for 36 years. 36 years? Dude, yeah. that's a long time. A long time. I look forward to continuing that tradition. And now we're off to the park, Gross Point Park. It's a backdoor sneak attack. Shh. Hi. How you doing? <laughs> I've got some news for you. Okay. You guys got an A on the restaurant report card. Awesome. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Welcome to Howlers and Growlers on Charlevoix Street. This slick looking east side outlet specializes in Michigan brews, BBQ and... Baja tacos with a pineapple salsa. The bar's been open since January. We've got, The kitchen's only been open for about two months now. And business has been booming. Congrats, dudes. Job well done. In Gross Point Park, I'm Andrea Isom, 7 Action News.